I've got Admiral Anderson on the QEC. Patching him through to you now. Shepard. Admiral, how are you holding up? Day by day, Commander. Yeah. Hackett sent me a message about this apartment. I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge. Clear your head. Kaylee wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. It's too generous. Besides, you'll be back here once the war's over. I doubt it. Even assuming we survive this, it'll take years to rebuild things here. Please, Commander. Don't make me beg. All right. Consider it done. I appreciate it. And make yourself at home, dammit. It's yours now. I'm sure I can manage. Okay, good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. So long, Admiral. Anderson out. Soldier beside. 
beside me, Hendrix, I think, and asked him how his mother was doing. Fine, he said. Why? Because I heard your mama so ugly, the Marines thought she was a Torian. Almost shot her. <laughs> I got a few smiles. Then Hendrix turned to me and said, Hell, Anderson, I heard it was a picture of your mama that started this goddamn war in the first place. Scared the Torians shitless. Everyone had a good laugh at that. And the boys fought great that night. Sometimes that's all it takes. A joke, a pat on the back. Just a little reminder that everything's gonna be okay. What was... <clears throat> what was I talking about? Early days, right? People ask why I joined the military. Everyone talks about honor, duty, sure. But that's never the whole truth. It's a hundred little things that add up to commitment. I joined because of a dog. Yeah, a dog. This patchy, mean son of a bitch that used to bark at me every day on my way to school. He'd snarl and I'd start running. Get the hell out of me. I was just a kid. I remember being in a bad mood one morning. Angry, I can't recall why. When that dog started in on me, I snapped. Started barking right back. We both kept at it until we had nothing left. Dog never bothered me again. Why did I join the military? Hmm. Sometimes you just gotta howl to make things right. A few months ago, I had a chance to sit down with one of Earth's most decorated soldiers, Admiral David Anderson. He was kind enough to answer my questions and talk about his career. Today, the Admiral is on Earth, leading the defense of our home against the Reapers. We have no communication with him or any soldiers on Earth, but we can't forget what they're doing for us. Tonight's show is dedicated to all of the soldiers out there, fighting and dying to keep us safe. Admiral Anderson, today marks the 30th anniversary of the N7 program. Can you describe your first day of training in this now famous program? The Interplanetary Combatives Training Program is all business from day one. How so? We're given basic gear, then separated and stranded on an asteroid with no nav data. The test ends when the last person runs out of oxygen. That sounds daunting. What happens to the ones who run out of air first? Out of the program. The best N7s can survive alone, but work together to survive even longer. Uh, that's very impressive, Admiral. Deep space survival training. Uh, that has to be... Uh, so difficult. All of it would take such strength of character. Well, just plain strength. But then, you seem like a strong person. I'm sorry. Is there a question in there? Well, does the program make the man, or do you think you were born for this? It's a bit of both, I suppose. Every soldier reaches a point in their career, sometimes more than once, when they are asked to give more than they ever thought they could. That moment is the test. I've seen men and women, almost sure to fail, persevere long past the point of breaking. That experience changes them. Others with all the gifts and abilities, fail in that moment. Sometimes they pick themselves up and carry on. Sometimes they're just done. What about you? What was your moment? I've had a few, none of which I'd like to share. But uh, I think the toughest tests are still ahead of me. What makes you say that? Call it a hunch. Soldier's intuition? Something like that. Do you trust your intuition? I mean, do you follow your heart over your mind? <laughs> well, <laughs> it depends on the day. No, I... I suppose if I were to be honest, I do trust my instincts. The problem is... War isn't orderly. And the enemy is never predictable. Even the most experienced veteran going to find themselves in situations they haven't trained for, in those instances. And there's more than I'd like to admit. Your instincts are the 
the only thing keeping you alive. That, and the men and women you're fighting beside. But soldiers are only as good as their leader, isn't that true? Yeah. A good leader can make an okay squad great. A bad leader, well, war tends to make examples of them. What makes a good leader then? Hmm. A good leader is someone who values the life of his men over the success of the mission, but understands that sometimes the cost of failing a mission is higher than the cost of losing those men. That's a terrible line to have to walk. Yes, it is. But war is a terrible thing. Thank you for your time, Admiral. Thank you. The remainder of this interview was to take a more personal look at Admiral Anderson's life. It wasn't finished when the Reapers invaded. We can only hope that the Admiral and the soldiers under his command survive to tell us the rest of their stories. I'm Kalisa Algelani. Thank you for watching. Shepard's had some rough patches. Who of us hasn't? He's been forced to fight a lot of battles alone. God only knows how he got out of some of that. Makes your head spin. Thing is, you never heard a complaint. Never once got, no sir, I can't do that. He never hesitated. Few people know what Shepard's been through. I'd like to think I come pretty close. And I worry sometimes he forgets. There's a whole bunch of people who lose sleep over him getting back home. Maybe it doesn't need to be said. Maybe we're too dumb to say it. Soldiers like the Commander are rare. Men like Shepard? Even more rare.
embarrassing moments? <laughs> I've got more of those than anyone will ever know. Only way to learn something. But if I had to pick one to share... I had just gotten promoted to N7. Full of myself. King of the castle. Found myself buying drinks for undesirables in some rundown bar in the wards. They... toasted my recent promotion. Hell, they would have toasted Batarian slavers if it had got them more drinks. About the time my money ran out, my new friends turned on me. I was outnumbered. Things didn't look good. My plan to get out of there involved lots of punching. Well, that worked for a while. Then a table hit me. Or I fell down. When I came to, I saw a Solarian putting the rest of the troublemakers down. A Solarian? Moved like a damn cat, I swear. When everybody was out cold. Or running. He walked over and helped me up. N7, he asked. Yes, sir, I replied. He looked over my collection of unconscious friends, nodding. Not bad, human, he said. Then he walked away. I had met my first Spectre. Learned an important lesson that day. No matter how good you think you are, there's always somebody quicker, faster, and a hell of a lot smarter than you just around the corner. That little lesson's kept me alive more than once since then. Tombstone data. Admiral David Edward Anderson. Not sure why anybody would be interested, but thanks for asking. Um, I was born in London, June 8th, 2137. The last of three children born to Ursula and Paul Anderson. A nurse and a flight mechanic, respectively. <sighs> but that's a little dry. And someone's gonna spice this up, right? <sighs> Never been much for the spotlight. Anyway, where was I? It was a second marriage for my parents. They were almost 50 by the time they had me. My mother worked shifts, so my father would often take me to the base. While he worked, I watched transport ships and fighters take off. Worked his whole life around space travel, my father. But he never left Earth. Not for a day. He was a good man. But that's just a side note. Don't put that in. Who is it, Kaylee? Oh, yes, I need to take that. I hope this is what you're after. I'll get to the more interesting N7 stuff next time. The Turians. Hmm. Um, uh, I might not always see eye to eye with the politics and the individual, but I have a great respect for the Turian military. Any Alliance soldier lucky enough to take part in their training programs will certainly be better for it. Their precision, skill, and discipline come together in a way that's second to none. Not that I'm faulting our own people or training. It's just that... The Turians. Hmm. <laughs> um, uh, I might not always see eye to eye with the politics and the individual, but I have a great respect for the Turian military. Any Alliance soldier lucky enough to take part in their training programs will certainly be better for it. Their precision, skill, and discipline come together in a way that's second to none. Not that I'm faulting our own people or training. It's just that after fighting Torians in the first contact war, years later, I had the opportunity to observe and train on Palavan. 
It was a turning point for me. And I would encourage any soldier to try it. It's a unique experience to put yourself in the squad of a Turian commander. My commander was an uncompromising bastard named Bartox Oryx. If you can find him, just ask how the platoon I commanded was trounced in his strategy game. Humbly. But I've used what I learned that day many times. The xenophobes will have their say. But I think it's vital that we do more of this kind of cross-species training. There you go. <laughs> and if you do find General Oryx, let me know. I owe him money. You asked me to talk about the SSV Normandy. The Normandy SR-1. As commander of the Tokyo, I was consulted on the Normandy's design and on board for her initial training exercises. The average person probably doesn't know that the Normandy was a joint project with the Torians. Acting CEO Eli Zander was no diplomat. She ran out of patience with Torian posturing and politicking during construction. The chief architect of the Drive Corps, Octavio Tatum, and his team of Torian engineers were in the CIC for final training exercises. Tempers flared when Xander pushed the limits of the stealth system, waiting to vent the IES well past what Tatum was comfortable with. I tried to calm the situation, but it still ended with the Torian scientist in shackles and a human Torian fistfight at Cora's den later. Funny now, when I first laid eyes on the North, She was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Day after that training run, Admiral Wright found me on the bridge. She's yours, he said. Can't trust her to Xander. Send me a list of crew from the Tokyo you'd like, and prep for your first mission. Short command, thanks to Saren. Still, one of the highlights of a long career. Commander Shepard, your table is ready. Can I be of assistance, sir? Just looking around. Very good, sir. Enjoy your evening. Gentlemen, care for a drink? Maybe later. I'm meeting a friend. Very good. Enjoy your evening. Good evening. Would the gentlemen care for a drink? Maybe later. I'm meeting a friend. Very good. Enjoy your evening. Hey, Shepard. Not bad, huh? The sushi place is serious. Like... French guy at the door, serious. Only had to save the galaxy twice to get a table here. You see the line outside?
But here I am, drink in hand. Best pilot in the universe and a rock star. Any news from the Normandy? Oh, uh, you know, maintenance stuff. It's hard knowing a bunch of strangers are poking around in my ship. I, I mean, your ship. The best thing we can do right now is Parker and let the techs do their work. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Maybe an oil change, space tire rotation. Right. Trust me, it'll do her some good. Oh, I trust you. Not sure about those shifty aerospace engineers. Always stealing the silverware. It's not easy to hand the ship over to somebody else. I just don't want anybody touching her but me. That... that sounded a little weird. Hmm. Not from you. Ouch. So, Commander, your email said it was important. What's up? My email? I'm here because I got a message from you. The hell? I, I didn't send anything. Commander! Excuse me. Sorry. Nine's business. Commander, this is urgent! Oh, come on, we haven't even gotten the appetizers yet. Commander Shepard, I'm Staff Analyst Maya Brooks. Alliance. Excuse me. Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to kill you. <laughs> yeah, I think he's aware of that. Uh, no, I, I don't mean Cerberus and the Reapers. I mean other people. New people. They're... It's... <sighs> Someone is hacking your account. Comm channels, personal records. They're targeting you specifically. Big mistake. Oh, man, there's the angry face. From the top, what do you know? Excuse me, you don't have a reservation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's performance is brought to you by Random Acts of Violence. Stay there. I'm coming. Joker? Ow, my pancreas. Hey! Damn it. Got one, sir! Find the crew. I'm going after her. Find the crew. Got it.
Yep. Feeling good. Brooks, you got hit. I know! I used Medigel. A lot of it. Um, all of it, actually. And now everything is a little bit bouncy. I think you used too much. So, can I help with anything? Alert CSEC. I'll look for a way out. Brooks, I see some sky cars across the gap. Maybe a landing pad. I'm checking the area. Transportation, no food, no. Andre, ah, oh, it's a sky car lot. Sishin Motors. Get a shuttle over there. I'll find a way across. Okay, right. So, um, it turns out CSEC has the whole area locked down. It's gonna be a tiny bit tricky to get you a shuttle. Keep at it, Brooks. Oh, also, stay off your calm. Well, except for me. It's hacked. That's probably how they found you. Who are these guys? I don't know. But they really don't seem to like you. Yeah, I'm sensing that. a little backup.
Good to hear. Things are a little dicey. Wouldn't have it any other way. Brooks, found a way across. It's locked down. Right, because of the, uh, lockdown. Uh, can you get through? I'll try to override it. It's all under control. Is that some kind of alarm? What's going on? Thought I'd make things more interesting. They called me.
Understood. Okay. Brooks over. No, out. B uh, Brooks out. Oh, over and out. Brooks. Oh, damn it. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. The landing pad's right over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. By the way, nice outfit. Control panel, right. Did you really fall through a fish tank? We'll talk about it later. Do you remember back when you used to rescue me in the wards? We'll talk about it later. Stand back. Wait. Could you please open the gate? Thank you. Please leave. Well, I could have done that. Rex? What are you doing here? Ah, just butting heads with the council over Krogan expansion. Call. Good to be back. 
Commander, did C-Sec find you? Are you okay? Yes and no. Merc in the C-Sec shuttle. What? A little busy right now. Right, sorry. We'll be there soon. Someone want to tell me what's going on here? Who were those mercenaries? They were heavily armed and had access to C-Sec shuttles. I don't know. I've never seen them before. I can't believe you survived all that. They had guns. And grenades. And those drone things. It's all right. I'm calling Commander Bailey. See what's going on with C-Sec. Okay, that sounds... Wait! Wouldn't that just make whoever you contact a target too? She's right, Shepard. Until we know more, it would be a big risk. Okay. For now, we run this ourselves. Right. Ourselves. On our own. Outside the law. Okay. Yeah. Brooks, gunfire means something serious is going on. Can you keep it together long enough for us to figure this out? They said the Medigel might make me jumpy. Also, the fact that I work a desk job and have never been shot before. How did you get mixed up in this? I monitored data for Alliance Intel to prevent fraud and hacking of officer IDs. Like, uh, someone using an Admiral's Pass to get into a nightclub on the Citadel when that Admiral is fighting on Tichanka. I wrote a tracking program. It's really neat. I named it Mr. Biscuits, after my cat. Brooks. Right, sorry. Anyway, Mr. Bis- uh, My program detected a breach in your classified files. Soon, everything we had on you was compromised. Personnel files, mission reports, everything. Since when does hacking personnel records involve heavy weapon fire? Think of what criminals could do if they had Shepard's military access codes. Or Spectre codes, even. Explains why they need you dead, Shepard. Nothing to stop them till the damage is done. Guess we're back on the clock. Don't worry. We'll find a quiet evening for just the two of us when this is done. Okay. Ideas on where to start with these guys? Hmm. What about the pistol you picked up? For such a tiny thing, it packs a punch. Never seen anything like it before. Let me see it. I might be able to help. Glyph. I'll begin collating relevant intel for review, Dr. Tassoni. Liara? Shepard, I'm relieved to see you're in one piece. A shame about the sushi place, though. It was a favorite. I hear that. All right, the hour is on point. What about the rest of the crew? Yeah, what about those slackers? Joker, you've been busy. I found some folks who actually like being shot at. Permission to come aboard, Shepard. Okay, later, when this is over and everything is settled, we are gonna talk about this bait thing. What's up, Commander? Back during my pilgrimage, I used to walk around near that sushi place and watch the fish through the window. I knew they'd never let me inside, but I think to myself, someday, when I've proven my worth to the galaxy, I'll go there for dinner, and then... You broke their floor. I'm fine, by the way. Glad to hear it. Try not to destroy any more of my childhood memories. 
Hey. Hey. Gladly are is on this. If anybody can sift through a mountain of boring stuff to find that one critical clue, it's her. Hey, Shepard. The restaurant attack has made the news. Civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to... fish. Hello, Shepard. Nothing beats having a Krogan bodyguard, huh? I had a buddy like that once. Uh, no, not so much a buddy, really. More of a prisoner who helped us. <laughs> it's a long story, man. Anyway, Brooke, she's kind of cute. Think she's on the market? Shepard. Shepard, I've found something. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. I'm gonna have to write a report about getting shot. I hear those are really complicated. It's faster if you make a template. I think maybe you get shot too much. I'm watching Dr. Tassoni work. It's inspiring. I'm watching Dr. Tassoni work. It's... I'm glad you made it out of that ambush, okay? None of us saw that coming. But lesson learned. Never... Glad you're okay, Shepard. So, what was it, Shepard, five minutes before someone started shooting at you? On the other hand, we get this cool secret hideout to hang out in, unless the bad guys look in the window. How's it going? Bet you never saw a shuttle get taken down like that before. <laughs> I still got it. Thought we were done with all the shooting on the Citadel after Cerberus messed the place up. They must want you bad, Shepard. Price of fame, I guess. Shepard? Commander, in my cycle, when we fled combat by falling through tanks containing aquatic animals, we usually... Oh, right. We never did. <laughs> you are a trailblazer, Commander. I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. You won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Khan out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguise, sir. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called CAT-6. As most of you know, CAT-6 is an alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No. But the truth is boring. Whoever that voice was, Khan's nervous enough to cut them loose. We can squeeze Khan until a contact drops out. Easier said than done. He has a panic room inside the casino, a good place to hole up. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. 
Khan could disappear, or worse. If his guards ever opened fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team. No gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Uh, too convenient. There's gonna be alarms all over that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast varin leg. I suspect my suit's built-in tech would be picked up by security sensors. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a course back at Op End, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right, you're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But... <laughs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? That's the plan, Brooks. Get whatever you need and be ready. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. You're looking good. Feels a little light without body armor, but it's soft to touch. Good to know. How are you so calm? Well, you did run under a reaper while it fought a Thresha Maw, so this is no big deal for you. Relax, Brooks. Right. Okay. On it. I'll get to the ventilation shaft. Wish me luck. Liara, you have any input? I'm here, Shepard. Edie and I will keep in contact in case we're needed. Khan has a lot of surveillance set up. I'd mingle with the guests if you want to look normal. Okay, Tali. Time to meet the riffraff. Why, hello, love. Isn't the turnout amazing? I wasn't sure anyone would show up. We pull together when we have to. I feel so bad for the humans. If you need a place to stay or anything, you just let me know. I have a place to stay now, but thanks. So you had nothing before that? Oh, how brave of you to endure, dear. The humans are so resilient. Like that phrase of theirs, stiff one in the lips? Stiff upper lip. Right, of course. What did I say? Commander, I'm upstairs by the grate leading to the shaft, but there's a problem. Can you meet me? Okay, right. Just like we thought. There's an alarm on the grate. We'll have to bypass it. Dr. Tassoni gave me this to pass to you. 
It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Good. I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. Yeah. Fingers crossed. The lens is working. Good. Follow the blue wiring. In case it needs to be said, don't try to bypass a camera while you're being watched. Drinks are complimentary tonight, sir. What do you have? Nothing too crazy. I want to be able to walk a straight line. Thessian Temple coming up. Are Asari drinks usually mild? Not all of them. Mr. Khan had us put out some gelatin shots earlier. Also Asari, they kick like a shotgun. I see a junction in the wall, but there's a camera watching it. Shepard, I'm sending a hack to your Omnitool. It will fool the camera, but it'll self-delete after a few seconds. Got it. The splice is in. Good. I've got the grate open, and... In we go. Act casual. This could take a while. You know, I respect the first guy who looked up at Saturn and said, that thing up there, it isn't as far. But you gotta love the guy who said, that thing up there, that's gonna be my gas station. Enjoying the party? Young people party. I drink. Tonight it's ring call on the rocks. That stuff can put you down for the camp. I just lost a staggering amount of income. This puts things in perspective. You need a few credits for a ride home or anything? Oh no, it's not like that. You know about all those Helium-3 facilities that are getting wiped out? I've flown by a few. Well, to put it in layman's terms, most of those facilities were mine. Drinks are complimentary tonight, sir. I heard your advice is so good at psychic. So what's gonna happen to me in the next few minutes? Disappointment. Oh. Hey. Commander Shepard. I thought I might find someone dangerous at this soiree. I'm Shaira. Yes, the famous Asari consort. I know who you are. No, you have heard of me. That is something entirely different. Point taken. Commander, have a drink. I think I once heard a rumor that you were leaving the Citadel. I did leave. Some so-called journalists made up stories about me. Because of their venom, I retired to a little colony in the Cilea Nebula. Why come back? Because I knew people here, and they needed comforting. And because one does not flee the heart of the galaxy in desperate times. Not because of some scoundrel with a video camera. Why, Commander, you keep coming over. What is a lady to think? I was wondering, how does someone become a consort? By understanding the minds around you. By displaying compassion in every direction. And then trying just a little harder, and just a little longer, than anyone who is not a consort can possibly imagine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a potential client to attend to. Evening, officer. Sir. Commander. What? There's a guard right below me. Don't panic. I'll get his attention. No, seriously. Have you ever tried to chase an ambulance? In a sky car, it's about the most dangerous thing you can do.
Excuse me. I think I saw someone doing drugs in the men's room. I see. Were you able to identify the substance used? Red sand. Dispatch, we've got a sand tripper in the bathrooms. Have they tried to compromise the games biotically? Unknown at this time. Moving to confront. Send backup. We're taking care of it, sir. Appreciate the help. You have a good night now. You're clear, Brooks. <sighs> Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. And I'll get back to blending in. Slow and steady. We'll get to Khan. So push my tour of the camp from 1 o'clock to 3, move the 3 to 5, and we'll find 10 minutes to eat somewhere. So, to sum up, tomorrow starts with the Help a Dream Foundation, then it's Blood Drive, Refugee Camp, and Hospital Tour. Hmm. Sounds like you turned pro. I try. Ms. Rios believes we have an obligation to the less fortunate. Of course. So how are you liking the party so far? There's a party? Attention, bets are locked. Attention, all bets are locked. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Talk to me, Brooks. I've got a pressure pad and an obstruction detector ahead. I can't disable them from here. Okay. Edie, I need a tech solution. Brooks, stay put. We'll find some junctions and take down the sensors. Okay. Come on, Tiger Bite. Bring it home. You got a lot riding on him? He's my boy. Picked him up at a shelter. Whoever let him go had no eye for racers. He can outrun anything he can't outfight and outfight anything he can't outrun. What are the odds on? Enough to pay for my kids' tuition. Interesting. You're not mingling and you're not betting. What's your game? The name's Roland Quarn. The game, Commander Shepard, is hearts and minds. Care to elaborate? Most people in this casino are here for a good cause. Others are just here to be seen. Phonies, if you will. They have money they won't miss. Others who are not myself need it. So the honorable thing to do is part them from this money. So you're a con man? Con men leave their marks angry. Con artists leave them smiling. I see the security gate. Okay, that's great. But we gotta wait on that until I reach the end of the duct. Follow the red wiring. Census Commander? I'm at a junction. There's a camera and a guard. I'll just be here. Try not to cough. 
Just give the signal and I'll distract him. I think some of my suit software is setting off alarms at the tables. That sometimes happens with our Volus and Quarian guests. Brooks, try it now. Checking the pressure pad. No alarms. Looks good. Follow the red wiring. There's a junction by the roulette wheels, but it's in plain view of two guards. But you can do something, right? Because my legs are maybe sort of starting to fall asleep a little. Hang in there. We've got this. I was told there was bear in this. I'm at the storage room grate. Time to hit the lock. Be careful, Brooks. Brooks? What? What happened? Infrared laser hooked up to a silent alarm. I didn't get it in time. Shepard, I'll call the responding guard to say it was a false alarm, but you must stall him before he reaches Brooks. Hey! Just calm down. I'm trying to do three different things here. Barrels? Sir, we checked out the alarm in storage. It's nothing. Minor accident. Find out who tripped it and get them in my office by end of shift. Now you. What'd you need? I'm sorry, are you with security? I thought you were a friend of mine. You've got the same suit. You... Enjoy your evening. You're clear, Brooks. Hi, Elspeth Moraine. I'm running for Zakara Ward City Council. Are you a citizen here? I've had bad experiences with politicians. Who hasn't? That's why I'm running. I got sick of leaders with ties to terra firma or Cerberus or worse. Oh? The ward needs refugee facilities. It needs security. It needs jobs. It needs everything. And hopefully, with a friend like Elijah Khan backing me, I can make it happen. you back potential client here enjoying the party like adrenaline in my heart they're gonna have a fire breather on the bar later and shoot fireworks above the ward would fireworks even burn in a vacuum it worked at New Year's whatever they did it looked freaking nuclear Has the camera back there? Well, I got my side. Yours is still on, though. We need to finish this before someone comes by. Hang tight. I'll get to you. Follow the yellow wiring.
be tricky. Just so you know. Have a little faith. Just give the signal and I'll distract him. Thanks for letting us know. Could you point out where? You have a good night now. Suspicious activity. My floor. A guard spotted me. If you act normal, hopefully he'll move on. Shepard, mingle. The thing about Solarian parties is, they all do it too well. I don't follow. My lab group on Sirkesh. All Solarians but me, and all with damn near perfect memories. Oh, that could get awkward. Exactly. It was all about who burnt the cake six months ago, or arguments the two people continue when they meet up once a year. So they never let anything go? Yeah, it was constant one-upmanship. I couldn't keep pace with them if I wanted to. find you something. Khan, you and me are gonna have a talk. What the hell? Well, this is inconvenient. Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it. Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... <gasps> when I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh, so we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back. Guess again. Q, I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. Name a time and a place. Or you could hide behind voice disguisers for the rest of your life. You're trying to rattle me so I slip up. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. Bring a bigger hammer. Your last try was inadequate. I'm gonna take everything you have and everything you are. Damn it. Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. That was quite the party. Well, except for the murder at the end. It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. <laughs> Damn, Commander. You can't even attend a party without someone ending up dead. Now, if I can just find some chow around here... You'd think a pad like this would be stocked. Shepard? I could go for some food while we wait. Too bad you shot the hell out of the best sushi place in the Citadel, huh? What's up, Commander? I look pretty damn good in a fancy dress, Commander. I'm gonna need an occasion to wear it. I'll see what I can do. Hey, Shepard. It's not every day a Quarian gets to mingle with the rich and famous. It seemed like you were having fun causing distractions. Whatever it takes to get you to bring me somewhere nice. Hey. I hear it was quite the party, even if things didn't go exactly as planned. At least you didn't come away empty-handed. 
Commander. Any life or death encounters with fish aquariums this time? No? Mm, too bad. I can hear Vega's stomach rumbling from here. How's it going? What's the matter, Shepard? Didn't want me as your date? <laughs> too much Krogan for you to handle? A lot of people have that problem. Most of them are dead. <laughs> Commander, instead of infiltrating the casino using a disguise, it would have been better to hold all the primitives hostage, threaten them with death, and shoot them until they gave you what you wanted. Next time, I will gladly assist. Commander. to see my physical proximity was not necessary to the success of the mission, Shepard. Let's see what you find before we call it a win. Commander, Edie and I have been analyzing those drives. I think we found something if you're ready. Let's hear it. Though the data's root structure was erased, the logic integrity remains viable. Edie has an incredible talent for this stuff. I know she's an AI, but even still. We found an encrypted communication from a few days ago. Just need another minute to crack it. A whole minute? Edie here could shave that down to five seconds. I thought it best to allow staff analyst Brooks a chance to improve her decryption skills. And now you've lost her chance to show off. Like she needs it. You're the crew of the Normandy. You're legends to the rest of the Alliance. Legends can be good or bad. Which are we? You're the kind that people look up to. The kind they owe their lives to. But how come everyone's always shooting at us? I think it's mostly you, Rex. The bigger the target, the bigger the... uh... target. You're saying I've gained weight? It just means there's more of the legend to love. And the camaraderie, the friendship? I think that's your secret weapon. I taught this bunch everything they know. Right, ducking, running, and hitting the occasional button. Here we go. Wow. Those marks who were after you, they bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. Max? What do they need that kind of firepower for? It appears this drone is preparing to rebel. I have just monitored the Commander's Spectre access code in use at the Citadel Archives. Punch it up. The archives are going into emergency lockdown. Where is hacking your records is there right now? What do we know about the place? Council keeps sensitive historical information there. Real hush-hush. Even my old CSEC clearance never got me in. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's... What's with the volas? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah, but uh, who gets to take point with you? <clears throat> Who's going to pay the bill?
What's the best way into the Ark? The facility is located below the wards. Maybe a direct breach for maximum surprise? I like it. Sounds like you're learning the ropes. Hell, hang out with us long enough and you'll learn ropes, knives, bombs, thresher maws. Don't hang out too long. Pretty soon you'll be making friends with a sorry. I heard that. The archives are somewhere below us. It could be pretty tricky to get in there. Not really. Krogan first! See you at the party, princesses. This again. Airbook! Scatter and take cover! In the old days, we had to wait five minutes before our mission went south. Drop your weapon, so this won't end well for her. You bastard! All right. <laughs> Whatever you think you're getting away with, there's nowhere you can run, nowhere you can hide, where we can't find you. Hide? Why? I'm Commander Shepard. I never hide. Uh-huh. So that's how it's gonna be. Who are you? You weren't the only Shepard that Cerberus brought back to life. But at least one of us will finally do something with it. Where did you come from? The same DNA as you. A clone. Cerberus spared no expense resurrecting you. With me, I was created for spare parts, in case you needed another arm, or a heart, or a lung. Where have you been this whole time? In a coma, until I woke up six months ago. While you were in a jail cell on Earth, I was learning to be human. Amazing what a person can do with enough neural implants. If you're really me, then we're on the same team. We're not even in the same league. Did the elusive man send you? No. He abandoned me when he had what he wanted. You. Then why have you been trying to kill us? Because I don't have his memories. I'd never fool my supposed friends. The ones who abandoned their duty to join the cult of Shepard. Like you, Talizora of Ast Normandy. I'm not sure whether to kill you with a bullet, or just take off your helmet and cough. You're just a cheap imitation of the real thing. I'm the real thing perfected. I'm you without the wear and tear, Shepard. The doubts, failures. I'm the lone wolf you were always meant to be. Without the emotional baggage holding me back. No one will ever believe you're Shepard. They will when I'm flying his ship. This is Shepard. Initiate Normandy lockdown. Transmitted command codes now. Good idea. Too bad the signal was blocked. Trainer, this is Shepard. Prep the Normandy for emergency departure. We're leaving. I'm setting the command codes now. Acknowledged. We'll get underway. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm looking forward to killing myself. I guess ominous threats of violence run in our DNA. But mine is more than a threat. Execute them. The cult of Shepard ends today.
Still got everyone? We're on the balcony! I'm okay too! Where's everyone else? Pushing into the archives. Stay in your groups. Team Mako, you're on point. Right. What's a Mako? Something we could use right about now. Team Hammerhead, cover the flank. Got it. And the Mako's got nothing on the Hammerhead. At this point, anything's possible. Like waking up and finding out you have a clone? I don't want to talk about it. Right. At least not till we've all had a drink. How are we gonna find anything in this place? Glyph! Yes, Commander. Track the target. Give me updates on its location. What is the nature of the target? He looks like me. Then I have found the target. No, Glyph. It's another me. Now get going. At once, Commander. Says this gun was part of the first contact war. Year 2157. Right. Back when humans and Turians didn't get along so well. Data uploaded to research alcohol. Commander, the other you is searching for something 200 meters ahead. Got it. Fighting your own clone is crazy, even for us. Useful, though. Anything you don't want to do, Shepard? Let them handle it. 
So, like a personal butler? I don't want to talk about it. Right. So let your clone do it. Why shoot something once, when you can shoot it 46 more times? The other me can't be far. Keep up the pressure and we'll try to surround him. Let's move. Year 2157 CE. First contact war, Turian interrogation, Vault T-91. Sir, we captured this human in the occupation of Shang-Chi. A human? You're the first I've met. And you're the first bird I've met. He was armed with this weapon, sir. How primitive. Your kind expects to win a war with this. A bullet is a bullet. You have so much to learn. And when we conquer your Earth, I look forward to teaching you. Imagine the history stores here? It must go back thousands of years. I just wonder what the other me is looking for in here. Year 700 CE. Krogan Rebellions attack on Council, Vault K-306. This is the only visual record of Krogan Overlord Kredik's attack on the Council. Audio follows. I've heard enough. If the Krogan hadn't taken on the Rachni, you would all be at their mercy. 
You won't give us what we deserve, and so you force us to take it. We will never leave the planet of Lucia, no matter how much the Asari cry. Ambassador Critic, you only weaken your case with this show of violence. Wrong, Solarian. Now our case is finally strong. Negotiations are over! <sighs> Someone can try! That had to hurt! Comedians could start hitting something. Krogan kill shot! <laughs> Keep pushing ahead. On it. These are the last of the AIs on the Citadel. This termination action is unlawful. Why do you continue when our appeal has not yet been heard? Keep quiet. You know that the Council will never overturn its own edict. Standing by for your go, sir. Do not terminate us. Go. Zakara Ward is almost completely destroyed. Interrupting. Spectre status recognized. Commander Shepard. The following information is classified. The unknown aggressor is suspected to be a Reaper aided in its attack on the Citadel by rogue Spectre Saren. The Reaper Sovereign is destroyed by the Fifth Fleet. unknown historical events. Where's the target, Glyph? He is searching for a secret vault. He did not wish to be disturbed. What? I thought he was you. <sighs> Go find him again. Stupid machine. Tratika is so much better at this.
A large contingent of soldiers calling themselves Razor Squad is just ahead. They wish to inflict bodily harm on you. Also, I discovered an Elcor mating totem in Vault 347B. Fascinating. Hammerhead and Mako, keep pushing ahead. Right. I might throw up a little bit now, if that's okay with everyone. Commander, the other you wishes to pass on a message. Shepard, save yourself the trouble. Once I have what I came here for, you won't matter anymore. Now go, drone. Deliver it. Year 710 CE, Krogan Genophage. Deployment, Vault T101. We have our orders. Release of the Genophage against the Krogan has been authorized. Not by my government. Your government invented it. What good is a weapon if you don't use it? Sergeant Tavis, restrain him. Are we sure of our orders, sir? This is genocide. Sergeant Hout, restrain them both. I'll press the button myself. One day, Solarian, you will thank us. Dispersal commencing. Gear J, Vault S1. Lemo Gear J, 
You are accused of using 30 civilians as bait to flush out and assassinate your target. I can get to that. Probably. You're being released. The Council wants you to implement a new special tactics and reconnaissance group. Desk job? No, thank you. This is no desk job. Spectres will be the best of the best. They will operate with impunity and answer only to the Council. You will be the first. Now that sounds like the best thing in the galaxy. The next person who says that is fired. The other commander has a bad temper. Collateral damage does not concern him. Scientists perished. I would like to have discussed the Alcor mating totem with them. Year unknown. Origin Earth. Early religious artifact, Vault E28. Team Hammerhead, we're headed to the next level. What's your location? Hammerhead, do you copy? Team Mako, we're coming up behind. What's your status? Mako, where are you? Intruders have been detected. Please locate them. Year 2183CE. First Human Spectre Deliberations. Vault SH1. Commander Shepard's recent accomplishments are not in question. It's his background that the Council has no knowledge of. Shepard was born on Earth and orphaned at an early age. He managed to survive on the streets until he was able to enlist at 18. Anything from Shepard's military record that you'd like to call out? The Alliance considers Shepard their go-to soldier that gets the job done no matter the cost. Ruthless, calculating, and brutal. Thank you for your presentation and to all who spoke. The Council will render their decision on the suitability of Commander Shepard as Spectre within the day.
What's your status? The other U is jamming our radios. Hammerhead and Mako are trying to get ahead and cut him off. But I've been hit and need help. Please hurry. Sealed us in. Is there an override? None that I can see. Cortez? Brooks? Do you read me? Is anyone on this frequency? The short answer is no. They're not. The longer answer involves your friends trapped in Iridium vaults and forgotten for, well, forever. Others know about this. About you. The Alliance will stop you. What do you think, Staff Analyst Brooks? Will the Alliance stop us? I wouldn't know. I don't actually work for them. What was the point of it all? All we really wanted was your Spectre code. I got Shepard. Spectre access accepted. But then you survived the hit and insisted on bringing your damned Asari into it. So I had to tie up loose ends. The arms dealer. Elijah, it's me. We need to talk. What the hell's going on? I swear if those guns get tracked back to me, they won't. But then your sex bot just had to go and recover the data. So here we are, forced to contain the situation. Who the hell are you? And do you really think I won't track you down? My name doesn't matter. I never keep the same one for more than a few days. And if the elusive man hasn't found me yet, you never will. You're Cerberus? Was. Mr. Elusive and I didn't see eye to eye. He's a ruthless madman, whereas I'm just ruthless. Why not come to me? We could have worked together. In a way, we did. I'm the one who put together all those dossiers on your suicide mission. The Collector Base? There was the Salarian Doctor, the Asari Justicar, the Quarian. <laughs> nice to have finally met you, Tali. Charmed. They were all mistakes. We were a pro-human group who started looking to aliens for help. So I bided my time. And when I found another you who agreed, I woke him up. The minute, the second I get out of here, I'm gonna take your head and mount it in the Normandy CIC. Then I'm gonna mount his head next to yours. Then I'm gonna take both of your heads and space them out the airlock. I'll help. That sounds very dramatic. And if someone like, say, Commander Shepard made the threat, I'd be worried. But you're not Shepard. Not anymore. You had Miranda. I have her. Mine has more bite. It was fun while it lasted. What are you doing? Setting things right. Remember this? You were the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Except somewhere along the way, you forgot about your entire species. You've saved more alien lives than you have human. And all I've seen you do is end lives. You're gonna make a lousy me. <laughs> You know the one thing they can't duplicate? Our handprint. Life gives it its shape, not DNA. Which is a problem. 
Computer, update council records. Subject, Shepard. Human Spectre. Accessing record. Please input new data. Biometric identifier updated. Good day, Commander Shepard. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Normandy needs its captain. So, I should go. Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die. Refresh my memory. Didn't we used to win these things back in the old days? He said, I should go. Do I sound like that? As long as I've known you, yeah. Shouldn't we be worrying about the impregnable vault we've been sealed inside forever? I'm more confident than he is. More in control. With me, it's more like, that's all for now. Spoken like a Krogan. Show him who's boss. There's probably not much air in here either. For the three of us, maybe an hour, if we take shallow breaths. Or sometimes, I'll talk to you later. Because you know what? I never do. Leave him wanting more. Shepard, please! Why aren't you more worried about this? Hmm? Oh. Glyph, you still out there? Yes, Commander. Unlock this damn thing and go find the others. No one steals my ship. Not even me. for Shepard plus two, and figure it out fast because the other Shepard is stealing my ship. What? I wanted to go. I know what you mean. I never seem to get picked. Joker will come back for you. I promise. This is why I hate shore leave. I swear, you parked the ship for five minutes. Can you contact Citadel Flight Control and get them to deny the departure request? Tried. All the comm lines in the area are jammed. Probably to make it easier for them to steal my ship. We'll stop them. Shepard, your clone has entered the ship and is attempting to... Well, this is awkward. I'm okay. Really? The clone has disabled my control of the Normandy, as well as all sensory input. I cannot lock him out or counteract his commands. You still fit for duty? I am experiencing a significant feedback loop in my head and an increased desire to kill your clone. Get in line. Well, whatever you do, hurry. If the Normandy gets to FTL, we may never see her again. That's not gonna happen. Okay, Citadel systems are targeting the car. Any closer and they open fire. Get back and pick up the others, ASAP. Right, they can't have gotten far. Unless they called a cab or something. Do not get between me and my ship.
take off, there's a half hour of pre-flight checks. They just gun the engine and go? Most of those checks are actually unnecessary. Thanks for letting me know. Even. Wait, what? You were just on the Normandy. You, you fired me. Dishonorable discharge for conduct unbecoming. You kicked me off the ship with barely enough time to grab my toothbrush. I can't fire you without a disciplinary hearing, trainer. And really, the first thing you grab is your toothbrush? It's a Scission Pro Mark IV. It uses Mass Effect fields to break up plaque. And someone just threw me off the ship. If it wasn't you... A, a clone. Honestly, when you serve on the Normandy long enough, you get used to things like this. I can explain more later. For now... It's sealed. Engines are online. They are preparing to take off. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? No. I was only there because I helped with the Normandy retrofits back on Earth. Everyone else is on shore leave. I need another way onto the ship, and I need it fast. There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It should be right... here. Manual lock. And it's only meant to be open from the other side. Any ideas? Triggering it would require extremely precise Mass Effect field manipulation. <clears throat> if you told me this morning that a toothbrush was gonna save the Normandy, I'd have been very skeptical. standing right in front of you. Are we clear? It's better this way. Wouldn't you rather take him down yourself? Armory. Find him. Slow him down. Pretty sure we broke Trainer's toothbrush getting the hatch open. Remind me to reimburse her for that. Shepard? Later. Remind me later. This is like being back on the flotilla. Your flotilla is cramped, Tally. A little, yes. Watch out, there you go. 
Like me. I don't react well to bullets. moving through the Normandy without sensory access or control. I feel blind. We won't rest until you're back in control of the Normandy. And this is coming from me. Thank you. Let's get to the cargo bay. Please send this to an animal shelter for proper disposal, as a warship is not an appropriate... Oh, that is not okay. He messed with my hamster, guys. Now it's personal. Guys? Were you gonna say something, or...? No, no, I get it. Hard to even find the words. Should we check on the rest of my stuff? Because if he's messing up my cabin... We should probably deal with him first, huh? All right, sit tight, little guy. Anybody gives you trouble, go for the eyes. All right, sit tight, little guy. Anybody gives you trouble, go for the eyes. These people are showing disrespect to my home, my body. It is unacceptable. I know the feeling. I intend to kill Shepard's clone, Agent Brooks, and anyone else in my way. Ordinarily, I'd be concerned about a synthetic wanting to kill that many people. But just this once? Go for it. Unacceptable. You want to stop shooting up my ship? It's not your ship. It will be. I've taken your name, your Spectre rank, even your fingerprints. And then you left me to die. Only I didn't. You think fake fingerprints are gonna fool the Council? Or hack it? How's that big plan looking now? Hatchet squad to the shuttle bay.
occupied in the shuttle bay. Roger that, Commander. We'll proceed with Plan B. Plan B? The hell is Plan B? That makes us a perfect target. No, that makes us the bait. Do you want me to drive? No. Damn it. Launch the shuttle and blow that thing out of the sky. Look at you. What makes you so damn special? Why you and not me? Hang on! We've got you! <sighs> Thanks. And the clone? Here, take my hand. And then? And then you live. For what? Fortunately, they weren't here long enough to do much real damage. Although I may need some help from James cleaning up the damage to the shuttle bay. Plus they overloaded the heat diffusion system firing at us. Not sure if you noticed, but shuttle guy here did some crazy stunt flying to keep us in one piece. That's nice to fly something a little more maneuverable than the Kodiak. How about you, Edie? I am once again in control of the Normandy. Thank you for asking. Glad to hear it. What about the Mercs? Any survivors? Just one crappy-ass pilot and her. 
Alliance has taken her to a high security facility. Maybe she can give him some dirt on Cerberus. I'll be more than happy to cooperate with the authorities. Until you escape. Me? Escape? But I'm not a field agent. Stop. Just stop. You betrayed me and the Alliance in the middle of a war. I was young and naive. Admit it, Commander. You'll miss me. Not at this range, I won't. Uh, maintenance to the shuttle bay? The rest of the squad's waiting outside. We'll have the Normandy back in shape in no time. Appreciate it. Is shore leave always like this? <laughs> Come on. Maybe we can take some actual time off. No explosions or anything. Just us. Just us. So, after a hard day spent fighting an evil clone, you know what comes next. A nap? Please. We party down. Well, I gotta get going. Things to settle up before I head back to Tuchanka. Always fires to put out when you're in charge, right? Let me know if you want to hang out or if you're having that party. See ya! Party, huh? Well, no pressure. No one's gonna make you throw a party. I need to unwind. Check out the strip. I'll think on it. Just in case, please allow me to provide you with credits for the purchase of any party supplies, Commander. Okay. Edie and Cortez and Trainer are in. What? I have also informed Dr. Tassoni about any potential upcoming celebrations. Wait, wait. I'm in charge of the guest list. Yeah, so there's no uninvite button on this thing? All right. But if and when I decide to have a party, I invite the rest. Cortez just invited James. So... Right. No promises. I'm gonna go out and see how much trouble I can get into without snapping a femur. Members of your crew have expressed interest in spending time with you, Commander. You can check your private terminal for messages. If you require activities, Silver Sun Strip has an arcade in addition to the casino. You have also been granted a complimentary pass to the combat simulator. Thanks, Cliff. Guess I should take advantage of some shore leave myself. Commander, 
If you would like to begin the party, you will need to purchase supplies on the Strip first. I have already placed credits in your account for this purpose. We're happy to fulfill all your household needs. Now that is a beautiful car. Really? Why exactly? It's a Mark II 2187 Black. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Armax Arsenal Arena. Armax Arsenal and the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board have registered you for a complimentary competitor's pass. You may start a match by going downstairs and selecting simulator options. When you are ready, enter the locker room.
match brought to you by the Citadel Department of Tourism. Experience history being made. So who's this patriarch person you keep going on about? What? You never heard of Mighty Patriarch? The legend of his rule echoes across Citadel space and beyond. How could you possibly not know? I don't know, maybe because he's not ruling now? That is a meaningless detail. Patriarch's story transcends time. Starting the game. It's still your move. Right, sorry. I'll just advance this. No, this frickin'. Oh, I see. It's a trap. What are you talking about? I've seen you use this move before. It's a brilliant play. Your opponents always fall for the distraction. Which means I should advance towards your evac shuttle. Here. Are you finished? Yes. Good. Then I'll take your dreadnought. An interesting gambit. There are a lot of factors to consider now. Of course. I think I'll... No, wait. Yes. There. You are. What kind of a move was that? The kind that throws you off, apparently. Good to know. Will you win?
Congratulations! You're a winner! Wanna try? Did you catch the updated intel reports on stripping enemy defenses? It's unfair. That's for proofreading. Which gun to use for best armor penetration? As if anyone carries two guns anymore. It's elementary. If you're staring down a hall of the Cerberus Centurion, you deploy an energy drain on their shields. Or just overload them, sure. And if you come up against a marauder, you detonate your tech armor. Exactly. Wait, what? Brilliant ending. Excellent use of the Bay Lucian Gambit. Is this space chess? It's called Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Sousa. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. Specialist? Commander? Kick her ass. Roger that. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. I'd expect the great thinkers to be helping with the Asari war effort. I hope those Asari Maidens you're teaching aren't on Ilium. Last I heard, the Reapers pretty much raised that planet. Excuse me, I'm trying to play. You're trash talking. That's another strategy that doesn't work on the Reapers. It didn't work on the Rachni either, or the Krogan. Have the Asari ever won a war? The Asari have a culture that was exploring space while you were using stone-tipped spears. I think you're supposed to hit the button there when your turn is done. I'm sorry to Sousa. This might sting a bit. Apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. So you detonate your tech armor in emergencies? No, pretty much all the time. Surrounded by us, tech armor. Rack nice swarmers jumping at me. Tech armor. But I guess the Mirage? Their shields move in real close and then detonate. Tech armor takes them right down. But couldn't you just hit them? You can try. Those marauders roll like you would believe. Spirits, I wish I could roll like that.
Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Silver Sun Strip. The Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board has declared Silver Sun Strip a top Citadel attraction. It is known for its wide variety of entertainment facilities and vibrant nightlife. Any good restaurants? The Ryusei Sushi Restaurant is often cited as a local favorite. Unfortunately, it is currently undergoing repairs due to extensive water damage and miscellaneous destruction. What else is in the area? Silver Sun Strip is a popular destination with both tourists and longtime residents of the Citadel. Its most well-known attraction is the Silver Coast, a high-end casino and entertainment facility. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. So I'm deployed to a hotspot out of area. My usual squad's on medical, so I'm stuck with any N7s who are here. Officer. Someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan? Right this way, Commander. So, Grunt. Anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call, straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. But you were in that hospital recovering from the Rachni encounter. Yeah, didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most people aren't me. And why is CSEC here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. I understand you're getting out of there. Can't stand hospitals either. Yeah, full of sick people. Right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. It's your birthday? No. I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Yeah. When CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. I can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. The CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why's that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Let me handle this. Officer, this Krogan is part of a secret Spectre task force. Operation... Fire... Cobra Claw. Operation Fire Cobra Claw? That's right. I can take it from here. Send me the bill for any damages. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. 
Thank you, officer. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. I love you, Grunt. <laughs> Thank you.